The very first thing you have to do if you want to try and get all of these brand new hi-fi players is go ahead and take a look at the achievement section of the game right over here. You want to press on that and then go down to these three sections. You can see there are three of them, high flyers, cash, coins and taking flight. So we'll take a look at the taking flight section over here. These are sort of the milestones in what you're actually going to get from this promo based off of the high flyer points that you're getting. You can see over here, it says collect 500 taking flight points to earn one dunk or bus pack. Now in this pack over here, you're going to get a 5% chance of getting anywhere between a 96 to 91 overall high fire player. Now that's going to be very useful because if you do pull one of these, they should be able to be quick sold for some extra high fire points, which makes them really, really valuable. And you can see over here, as you keep going down, you will get some more Boom or Bus packs. As we keep going down, you'll get players. So at 96 overall, we'll be at 6,000 taking flight points. And you can see, you just keep going down and you'll get another one at 97 overall at 15,000. But there is a slight difference in the type of dunk or bus packs because you can see these ones over here are 96 to 101. But these ones, the big ones, are 97 to 103. So that means that you do have a chance at getting that Jamaran in these ones over here because they do have that little bit extra chance of you getting him because they're between 97 and 93 instead of the lower ones only going up to 101. So that's something to take into consideration. But you just want to keep going through and as you get through them, you'll get better and better players. You can see Zion Williamson over there at 60,000. But at the very end, you will get your playstyle select Grandmaster Jan Moran, who is at that 103 overall, but you need to collect 100,000 taking flight to be able to get him at the end of the promo, which is going to be pretty difficult. Normally spent, you're probably going to have to spend a bit of cash if you want to try and get him, or you get extremely lucky with what you're pulling out of the packs. Because say I pull a bunch of these players from the Boom and Boss packs, that means that I can then quick sell them for extra taking flight points to then use in these milestones, as it were, to then get further and further through so I can then maybe get up to that jam run. But it is going to be difficult, normally spent. There are some extra packs in the store, which we'll go on to in a second. But what you are looking at mainly normally spent is these achievements over here. You can see there are ones that are going to give you points for spending coins. And it's as simple as that. It isn't spending coins on the auction house is just simply in the store. So you can see at 25,000 coins spent, you get yourself 2,000 points and it just keeps going through like that. Same with 50,000 coins, 100,000 coins spent. All of those are going to give you 2,000. 250k will be 3,000 points. 500,000 coins gets you 4,000 points. And all the way up at the top, 1 million coins gets yourself 5,000 of the actual points. So that is going to be very useful, but that is through spending them in the store, not on the auction house, through the store, which is going to be pretty hard to do just with all the packs that are out. But this promo is out for roughly five days. That's what it's usually like. It is around five days. So you do have a lot of time to try and get these guys. And obviously there will be more stuff in the store. Usually there is a boom and bus pack that drops on the second day of the promo and it drops regularly every single day after that. So that is something to take into consideration. I think it's about 50k coins, maybe even 100k coins. So that's an easy way of you trying to get lucky and trying to get the masters and also spending through your coins in the store to go through these sort of achievements over here. And then you can see that final one is that cash offer over here. So you can see 1,000 cash for 5,000 taking flight points, same with 2,500, same with 5,000, and same with 7,500, and you can see it's exactly the same for 10,000. The one that differs is that 15,000 NBA cash spent gets yourself 15,000 points over there. So that one's a slight difference, but all of these ones are basically pay to win ones, except for possibly the first one, just because it is a only 1,000 NBA cash, which you can get roughly as you carry on playing through and grinding your NBA cash, which isn't too difficult to do. Just do your objectives as much as you can. I've done a whole separate video on how you can get free NBA cash, which you can check out somewhere on the channel. But going into the store, what you probably would like to spend some of these coins on and basically just actually go ahead and spend through most of the stuff. You can see there are popcorn tokens. There will be a boom and bust pack, hopefully for coins later on in the promo for the high fly section in the historic awards promo. There's extra packs you can buy. There's the four NBA historic award tokens. Those will cost you 100K a day pretty much. And you can see there's extra live points. Monthly master section does have a little bit, although it's not really worth it in my opinion. And then you can see in the core section, there's always those pro packs. And that is all you got to do. Just spend through as many coins as you can in the store to then go ahead and actually get those achievements done. So that is going to be how you can get those guys really, really quickly. It is going to be pushed to get that Jamarant who is giving out an elite athleticism boost, which is looking pretty good. But you might be able to pick up some of the other low overall players. Usually normally spent, get up to maybe a 99 overall, possibly that 101 Zion Williamson. If you get extremely lucky, you are getting that jammer run. But that is only if you get extremely lucky. So we're going to go ahead and test out my luck. My luck's never really the best 
when it comes to these types of promos, but we are going to see exactly what we can do with some of the stuff. So we're basically going to spend through as many coins as we can in the store. This is, of course, just going to help us with the main promo at the moment, not just with the, our little pack opening, as it were. It will help us out in, this, in the main promo so we can maybe get Bill Russell because I'm looking to get him. I dropped gameplay for T-Mac and also that Larry Bird, which you go check out if you want to, but you can see we're spending through the coins and that is our first achievement done over there. So we spent through 30K coins in total. That's the 25K achievement one for 2,000 taking flight points. And we'll just keep opening a couple more packs. I know you guys showed us our extra dunk or bus pack after this one over here. So we're gonna see whether we can get lucky and get some of the players that we can get from this promo. Let's see what we get out of our first boomer bus pack as it were. 96 to 101 is what we're looking for. And we just simply get some extra points. So that is the benefit with opening these boomer bus packs. You get some extra points at the end of it. We got another one over here. Can we improve on the points and get a player? We are just going to get some more points over there. So 500 taking fight points on those ones. But this time, we're up to that big dunk or bus pack. So we got a chance of getting that Jamaran, and we do get some more points over there. But it is 1,000 this time with the bigger ones. So 1,000 with the big ones if you don't get a player, whereas it's only 500 if you don't get a player in the smaller one. We do get another 2,000 there by spending 50,000 coins in the store. Hopefully that will push us through a little bit more in the achievements, get another couple of packs, maybe a player at one point. It does, it gets us that 96 overall Richardson over there. He is a small forward card, but we're not really going to use him on our team. So we're going to go ahead and quick sell him. All of these guys do have a coin boost, which might help your team out a little bit. But if we go all the way back through our players over here, 96 overall, you can see he quick sells for 4,000. I'm guessing it goes up by 2,000 each sort of overall in player. We get some more dunk or bust packs over here. So we got 96 to 101 and we do actually get some more points over there. Can we get at least one player from this boom or bust pack over here? Come on, we get some more points. Unfortunately, it's another 500 points. So we're gonna spend through some more coins in the store, see whether we can get anything out of a boom or bust pack. Our goal is to maybe at least get one player from a boom or bust pack, which hopefully should work. I mean, we should maybe get a player, at least one of the packs we're opening if we open enough of them, but you never know. I'm usually not that lucky with some of these promos. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you've got any of the players from a boom or bust pack. Have you been lucky enough and got that jam around? Because you do have a possibility of getting him from some of the packs. And if you do, that is just extremely lucky. Well done for you. But we're going to open through. We've opened all of those ones. So we get some more taking flight points. We're up to 2,000 from that one. And that is not going to get us through any more achievements. So we're going to buy some more stuff in the store. All of this stuff is going to still help me no matter what. We will actually open some pro packs over here. See whether we can get anything good at these ones. They're always a little bit fun to open, even though it's pretty hard to get a player at these ones. It's still an elite pool. It's still pretty good. And we get an 82 Vucevic out of that first one. Can we improve on that? 82 has set the benchmark for us in these pro packs. Can we get better than that in this one over here? We get 200 XP, 70 overall, 70 overall, and a 78 overall. So nothing better than that 82 overall Vucevic. Can we get maybe an 83 or an 84? We get some more 70s and a 71 over there. So we're up to pack number four, I think this is out of these pro packs. What can we get out of this one? It's gonna be a 74 overall at the best. Our final pro pack before we head over onto some monthly master packs, because why not? We got the monthly master MMs and we do actually get some more 71 overall players. Can we do anything else to get through the achievements or is that going to be it on the coin side? We do need to spend an extra 90,000 coins in the store. We do have these monthly master packs, which I don't really want to open, but why not? I've got a couple of coins lying around. I might as well just open these just to get through a little bit more in those actual achievements. And there we go. We get 3,000 of the points. That gets us that 97 overall Sean Kemp, who we're going to quick sell and see whether that puts us any further in the milestones. We get this 97 overall Sean Kemp. He's at that shooting guard position. We'll go down to sell and we'll go over here to that 97 overall and just quick turn. This is where you can see he's going for a lot more than the other one. It's 6,000 now instead of 4,000 for the other one. So I'm guessing the next player will be 8,000 and something like that. And we get more points out of these big boom or bus packs. That is not going to help us. Can we get anywhere else in the achievement section? Or is that going to be it? Coins, we need to spend another 240,000 coins, which is quite a lot. And then we need to get a load more of these taking flight tokens to get up to the 99 overall Daryl Hawkins. So I definitely think no money spent, you might be able to get Zion. And if you do get a bit luckier than me, you might guarantee that Zion or maybe go ahead and get that jam around. But that's as best we can do out of all of those packs so far with this promo. But now let's go ahead and end off the video with a couple of monthly master packs. You can see I'm at 3,910. We can actually open a little bit more in the store before we open some monthly master packs. Try and get up to at least eight packs from this one. If we get up to 4,000, which we do, we get 250 of that one. So that pushes us up to 4,100 monthly master elements. That means eight of these packs. What is the best thing we're going to get to pull out of these packs over here? We start things off 
with an 82 Chris pool. That's not the best pool. I think we can get a lot higher. I'm hoping for something above 90 overall if we can. An 83 Brown slowly going up a little bit from 82 to 83. Can we improve on that 83 overall Brown over there? We get an 82 DeAndre Ayton, another Phoenix Suns player with that Chris Paul card. But come on, 83 still at the top. We get a 92 overall Allen Iverson from that all-star historic promo. Can we improve on a 92? That's a decent pull at these monthly master packs, but I think we can still do better. We get an 82 Bam out of that one. We get some more achievements from the actual monthly master section, getting us that XP, which is going to help us hopefully level up at some point. We get an 81 overall, Clay Thompson, who I remember was really good at the beginning of the season in terms of overall and those stats. We get an 82 overall, Magic Johnson from the All-Star Historic Promo. Final monthly master pack. Can we improve on that 92 overall, Allen Iverson? We get an 85 overall, Larry Bird. So our second best pull from those packs over there. It hasn't been the best of pack openings. We never seem to pull anything really good in any of these packs. But hopefully that summed up how you can get these masters really quickly and try and get as many as you can for absolutely free. Make sure you're quick selling the cards if you don't need them on your team because you never know, it might help you go through the achievements. Make sure to log in if you do want to try and get that boom or bust pack, which should drop tomorrow and then every other day after that in this promo. They're always a bit of fun to open and you do get some extra taking flight points if you don't get a play alongside this promo we do have two other promos and the main one going on right now is that nba historic awards promo and if you want to go check out the gameplay i did with this 103 larry bird go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner trust me he dropped carl anthony towns on the floor go check out that video in the bottom left hand corner and i'll see you guys in that one peace